All right, number eight. We talked about this one in class, but I think it's worth taking a second look at. Go ahead and make sure you've read it carefully, and then we'll discuss. All right, we're being asked for the frequency. Let's remind ourselves that frequency is equal to the one to one over the period. It is the inverse of period. It is measured in units of one over seconds, or hertz, named after some German guy called Hertz. Now. It's kind of interesting. They could give us a velocity graph. They could give us a displacement graph. They could give us a, an acceleration. Really, they could give us any kind of graph here that shows the simple harmonic motion. And all we need to do is, well, we can do this in two ways. How many times does this repeat in a second? That's the definition of frequency. Or, I think the easier way, is to find the period. How long does it take to go from one point to that same point again? and then just invert that. So I think the easiest place to see that is from here to here. That is a period of from uh, 0.2 to 0.7. That's half a second period. Now it's tempting, I think, to go straight from, okay, I know that the period is half a second to picking letter A, but notice they have the correct unit there, hertz. To find the frequency, we need to invert that. So 1 divided by 0 0.5 seconds gives us 2.0 hertz. Very straightforward. It's important here that you have the definition uh, of frequency. And if you ever forget, you'll notice it is right here on our equation sheet. Period is equal to 1 over frequency, or frequency is equal to 1 over period. That's it for number 8, people.